Good afternoon, friends. We have all been in the middle of an argument that we know we cannot win. Understanding that our frustration has overwhelmed all sense of perspectives, spent and shattered, we would do well to remember the one old saying, it is better to bend than to break. My friends, today I shall be talking on the science of compromise, the art of compromise. I used to watch my father negotiate. He was a master of getting his way. After, after the deal was done, he would remind me, son, never offer anything you wouldn't be glad to accept yourself. I thought that was a pretty good strategy. It would certainly make uh, you think before you try to take advantage advantage of someone. When both people uh, want it their way and their ways are a diver a divergent or they are different, something has to give. Compromise is a good way to think of it because it involves both give and take. It's a form of the, uh, for, a form for this, for that or a form of settling. The first key to compromise is knowing what you are willing to settle. And second, getting to the middle ground of the compromise process by asking questions of the other persons rather than begging, pleading, or even trying too hard to persuade your terms. My friend, questioning also leads to understanding. Mr. Singh, we did it my way. What would happen? How would this uh, uh, negatively affect you? Once you understand how the offer, uh, uh, how the other person may be uh, negatively affected, then you can understand how to compromise or uh, uh, better. Uh, stated what you are willing to give up in exchange for the uh, partial happiness. Where do you draw the line of a compromise? And how far you are willing uh, to draw that line to get your way? My friends, remember, compromise usually means no one gets everything they wanted. The key to making a good compromise is fairness. And you are you okay with the outcome? Is the other person okay with the outcome? When you are caught in the heat of an argument, you are in a state of crisis, which is defined uh, as a time of intense difficulty, trouble or danger. In times where you experience crisis, what you earn for most of uh, most of all is to feel safe if you do not feel safe emotionally or physically there is no way for you to reach the state of compromise with your partner you are negotiating if your goal is to reach the state of compromise you must focus on yourself define your core needs in the area of your problems do not relinquish anything that you feel is absolutely essential and understand that you must be willing to accept influence. Remember, you can only be influential if you accept influence. Compromise never feels perfect. Everyone gains something and everyone loses something. The important thing is feeling understood, respected and honored in your dreams. If you feel this is an, an incredible tall order, you are not alone. What is this? That means all you need to do is to learn the art of compromise, the science of compromise and nothing else. I say it's simple. You break down in uh, little uh, steps, few steps. If you remember, you will be master of the compromise. Step first, consider an area of conflict in which you and your partner have been stuck 
in uh, perpetual gridlock. Draw two oval circles, one within the other. The one is one on the inside is your inflexible area and the other on the outside is your flexible area. Then move on to the step two, next step. Think of the inside oval containing the ideas, the needs and values you absolutely cannot compromise with. And on the outer oval containing, uh, outer oval containing the ideas, needs and values that you feel more flexible within the areas. Make these two separate lists. And then comes the, go, then go on to the step third. Think of these inside oval containing the, need, the ideas, needs and values you absolutely cannot compromise and the outside oval containing the ideas, needs and values that you feel more flexible within the area and, uh, and then discuss. Discuss with asking yourself, uh, asking uh, uh, questions with your partner in the way that feels most comfortable and the nature for the two of you. Can you ask? Ask him. Can you help me to understand why you, uh, uh, your flexible needs or values are so important to you? What are your uh, guiding feelings here? What feelings and goals do you have in common? How might these goals be accomplished? Help me to understand. Ask your partner. Help me to understand your flexible areas. Let's see which one we have in common. Ask him, how can I help you to meet your core needs? And then ask him, what temporary compromises can we reach on these each problems we have listed down? My friend, designing an activity for the two of you is, will maybe sometime a stressful discussion, but it will pave the way. It will be the most helpful if you undertake in a peace time, perhaps in the evening or in the weekend, uh, when you are more relaxed. This should take you and your partner approximately uh, 30 minutes, half an hour, one hour maybe. Remember this activity is not a magical pill uh, that the two of you, you can pop causing your problems to uh, disappear forever. It's a beginning of a series of discussion or what will likely prove to be a long, honest, faithful and fulfill, fulfilling discussion and ultimately coming to a compromise in a middle way. If this all still feels intimidating, my friends, don't be discouraged. It probably means that this is important to you, vital for you and that is your greatest power. Motivation to overcome these very real difficulties. You cannot find peace in avoiding life. The difference between us all are very real, my friend. Remember, those of us who love something have a real gift, having seen in the unique beauty of the one we love in all of its strength and weaknesses, complexities and depths. We share the will to build bridges between our souls. My friend, while compromise is a science, it's an art. It's one without a formula. Just know what you are willing to give up and ask questions to find out the other person's needs, feelings and passions. And like any other form of persuasion or uh, getting your way, you have to look at the long-term outcome and measure its value of consequences against what you are trying to achieve. That will not only help you in compromise, it will help you in your life. Thank you very much.